They got me. They caught me. I took my bracelet off. My butt looks amazing all of a sudden. My eyeliner is Fenty. My lips are Fenty. Don't play with it, okay? My appointment. My reservation is at 5.30. Call me what you want, say what you want, but this damn blow-dried food tastes better than the buffet. And I'm gonna eat it with a coffee stir. Mm-hmm. Yep. Look at this lizard. Over here with my stuff. <laughs> Look at this mirror in the elevator, like, okay, cute. But like, like I said, one, I'm in a relationship. Two, I don't stay out that late. Three, I don't do clubs. Four, I don't drink. Five, I'm tired. I'm Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you are new to my channel. Of course, if you know, if you've seen all my posts or my last video, I am currently on a solo trip. I made it to my destination. So yeah, if you haven't seen the get ready with me for my solo trip, make sure you watch that before you watch this vlog. But guys, I made it here safely and I am in Curacao. I know a lot of people try to guess where I was going and nobody could figure it out. And then when I told them, they're like, oh, interesting. <laughs> Like I know it's a popular travel destination, but not a lot of people actually know about it. So, you know, it's a very safe island. So that's why I decided to go here because I just wanted somewhere that I could, you know, not have to worry about watching my back all the time and worrying about like a lot of, there's a lot of factors that come in when it comes to solo traveling, but I did a lot of research and this is definitely a good place to solo travel. So I got to the airport around like 5 a.m. I went out of JFK and my flight took off at like 7.20. Like seven, actually, you know, like 7.30. So my flight took off at 7.30. It is now like two o'clock, I think, almost three o'clock. Check-in wasn't supposed to be until four, but my room was ready, thank God, because I hate waiting. So let's do a quick room tour before I tell you my first impressions of this resort. I'm not gonna go out in the hallway right now because there's people cleaning, but this is like the front door when you come in. Y'all, look at these light switches. Like, it's like weird. <laughs> Let me close it. So this is the door to the bathroom, but I will close that. They made me wear this bracelet, y'all. I hate going to resorts where I have to wear a bracelet. This is what it looks like when you walk in. There's a nice body mirror over here, which I'm really happy about. Yes, I have no socks or shoes on. I don't care. Like my feet were suffocating. This is my little airport fit, like you guys saw. The brown blue lemon set. So yeah, I'm really glad that there's a nice full length mirror. Here's my luggage. Over here, there's like the little TV stand area, a nice flat screen TV. I love like their style here, like these little lamps and like this furniture. You see this a lot throughout the resort. Like at least the theme is very cohesive here. And over here is like a little wardrobe closet. I feel like it's in a weird spot, but I mean, it is what it is, but it's pretty cool. I've never seen something like this in a hotel room. So over here I have the shelves, which is perfect. I can put my shoes and stuff here, my packing cubes. And then over here I'll hang up like my dresses and stuff. And down there is a safe. Of course I'm gonna put all my valuables in there because I'm not taking any risks. Over here is a nice king size bed that I have all to myself. So happy about that. Um, side note, y'all look at these outlets. You see that? Yeah, I'm so glad I prepared. I'm so glad I prepared. There's like the little tiny nightstands on the side or a little side table. It's not really a nightstand. And then they have little chairs over here and a table. And I'm pretty sure this is like to put your luggage or something. I'm not sure. And then of course, it's a cute little balcony. Look that you can barely see into the other people's like side. Like it's like open here, but it's closed on the side. And oh my God, let me show you. It is so hot outside. Oh my God. So there's two chairs here. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna ignore that. But another thing that I really appreciate is these bars. So, you know, when like, you go, oh, what kind of bug is that? 
you know when like you go to the beach and you have your wet towel or wet bathing suits and like usually you hang them over the railing but they put these little hooks out here which is so smart i've never seen that at any other resort okay so first over here let's start with the water park there's a literal water park over there not sure if i'm gonna do that but we'll see and then there's like this water over here i think that's part of like the ocean and then i don't know what this pool is but i don't think it's open and then over there is the ocean but it's so hot out here like i'm so greasy it's kind of loud they're actually doing construction which i saw in one of the reviews recently because like when i booked it obviously i looked and there was good reviews but you know as time goes on you look at more reviews and stuff and one of the reviews did complain about like the noise from the construction from my side of the hotel because there's three different buildings in this hotel which is ridiculous i'm like oh my god there's so many freaking rooms there's three buildings i'm in the second one so it's like kind of like off to the side um but i can't really hear the construction from here at least from my room outside i can a little bit but it's not it's really not a big deal for me but the checking process was quick i did have to wait because there wasn't like a lot of people at the desk so i had to wait oh i'm so sweaty i had to wait to check in but the checking process was quick easy they gave me my keys they're like all right your room is ready and i'm like okay where is it and like nobody could tell me exactly where it was and it was just like i don't know everybody here is a little confused but that's okay they're super nice here um but I will say one thing I was not expecting was like they make you take your luggage out by yourself. I don't know if it's just the hotels I'm used to going to, but usually I'm used to them like taking your luggage and bringing it up to your room. So like this is the first time I've been to a resort in a while at least that they haven't taken my luggage, but it's not a big deal, you know. I'm pretty strong. I can carry them by myself, but the fact that the building's so far from the lobby, it would have been nice. But I'm just going to take some time to get settled in, you know, take everything in because this whole process of like getting to the airport getting on the plane traveling like it's been really unreal like i just feel really weird like i'm not used to traveling by myself going anywhere by myself so it just feels really freaking weird so i'm just trying to get used to it and like trying to just you know explain to myself like this is real you're here in another country by yourself get used to it for the next week so i'm just gonna kind of settle in i'm gonna hope that the air conditioner starts pumping out some more air because that is another thing i'm not really happy about is that they have like the temperature locked on the on the air conditioner thing and i need it freezing in here okay it is 83 degrees outside and super humid i mean my hair it doesn't look that bad on camera but it is really poofy and big so it is just really hot and i need the room to be freezing cold so we will see about that I can't believe I forgot to show you the damn bathroom, so it's nothing crazy, but I, can't, I literally forgot. So here's the door. I had to put a towel on the floor because there's no rug and I just that just bothers me. Anyways, but you know, here's the toilet, obviously, and look at the flush for the toilet. It's like these buttons. Never seen that before. And then here's like the vanity sink area. It's kind of small, but I'd be able to fit my products on this little shelf up here. And then of course there's a little mirror so I can do my makeup. The lighting isn't like great in here, but it's also not bad. But there's this little circle mirror. In the shower, there's no door or curtain or anything. You just kind of walk in, there's like the little hooks up there. And here's like the shower head and everything. It's really cute, I like the gold. And I like that it's like overhead, but then it also has the sprayer. So that's perfect. Alrighty guys, so honestly, it's been about like two hours. Hold on, like, let me sit down real quick. I decided that I was gonna take a shower, do some self care, you know, like I said, let myself adjust to the whole situation before I step foot out of this room, okay? So I took a nice hot shower. It took me a minute to figure out how to work that damn thing, but I figured it out. Obviously before that, I unpacked everything. So let me give you guys a quick little visual so just kind of organize all my stuff everything that was folded and can stay folded i put over here and then shoes down there and then i hung up whatever i needed to hang up i wish this was like longer but that's okay and obviously put my valuable stuff in the safe and i just have my pajamas in that little packing cube oh my god i was gonna wear this dress this right here is the exact reason why i wait until i'm done getting ready to put on the clothes. I decided, oh, let me put on my dress before I do my hair. <clears throat> oh my God, I'm choking. I was like, let me put on my dress before I do my hair. And now there's 
hair product on my dress so obviously i can't wear this and i'm mad because it looks really good like my butt looks amazing all of a sudden i'm telling y'all as soon as i go on vacation i just look 40 times better wait until i get a little bit of a tan whole new person whole new person be carrying this bag today i'm just gonna kind of explore the resort figure out where everything is first and then go get something to eat. The like a la carte restaurants, you have to make a reservation a day in advance. So I'm just gonna eat at the buffet for dinner tonight and hope it's good. I've heard good things about their food, honestly, but we will see. Here is the little fit for our first kind of official day in Curacao. If you're wondering where I got this romper, I got it from Shein. I don't really shop at Shein anymore, but that's where it's from. You know, the sandals are Tory Burch and this is from Target. The sunglasses are TJ Maxx. Uh, let's go. Look at this mirror in the elevator, like, okay, cute. <laughs> Y'all, for a minute, I literally forgot that this place is all inclusive and I was like, oh, I can just take it out. <laughs> How did I forget that I paid for an all inclusive resort? Anyway, so I looked around the shop. I'm gonna do some shopping around the town before I like buy anything from the store on the resort. I just stopped at this little pastry shop and got so. sitting on the beach until dinner starts. I have like 20 minutes, so I'm just kind of tired. Cause I've been up since three o'clock this morning. I'm just gonna eat and then go straight back to the room and just get some sleep so I can get up early tomorrow. Cause I wanna get up at like seven o'clock maybe. Come sit on the beach. This is me gonna say you say. Me gonna say you say. I don't know if you can hear me. Finally made it to dinner. This buffet is humongous. But we went to find out if it's good or not. It's not bad. They didn't have any water bottles. Yep, no water, just soda. They were sold out <laughs> of water. Yo, I think there's this lady on the plane, like, she was like, whatever, they freaking sit down after somebody put their bag up. She literally took like five and sit down. And like, as she sat down, she like slowly put her foot in, and I went to go push my suitcase, and I like slapped her ankle. <laughs> And I was like, I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. She was like, you could have waited for me to sit down at least. And I'm like, well, hurry up, put your goddamn foot in the seat. Like, what are you doing? Just like, get the other people. Like, it's a, it's a full flight. Everybody else gotta get on the plane. Sit down. Good morning, guys. So it is officially the first full day of my solo trip. So on today's agenda, I just got up, got dressed. I'm gonna go down to breakfast and then just kind of hang out on the beach and by the pool and probably try to get some pictures. I'm just wearing this bathing suit that I got from Target and these little cover up pants I got from Zara and then my Hermes sandals. Um, and I'm just wearing the same beach bag that I had yesterday, the one from Target. Last night was kind of rough. I don't know, I was just still like adjusting to things and it just still feels weird. Um, but it was an okay night. I slept pretty good. And I'm just kind of gonna explore and then I have a dinner reservation at 5 30 at a restaurant called Kome. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have my camera on my other tripod today just because it's a lot taller and more flexible than the other one. So let's hope that this stays up and doesn't fall in the water. Last night, I don't know if I gave you guys an update because I literally was on the phone with my mom while I was eating dinner and then I just ate and left. Like I didn't even eat that much. Like they had a good selection of stuff. But I just wasn't really feeling it, so I'm gonna try to make a reservation at one of the like sit down restaurants where you like sit down and order and all that. But yeah, they do have a pretty good selection at the buffet. It was pretty good, but it's like it's better than other ones I've had at all inclusive resorts. But it's like okay, it wasn't like, mm, but it was like okay, this is good. Like this will fill me up and I won't be hungry. 
Before I leave the room, I forgot that I took my bracelet off. So I have this trick. When I go to resorts like this, I just stretch the bracelet and kind of like disco. <laughs> I kind of just like dislocate my thumb and just like take the bracelet off. And I was trying to slip it back on and it broke. So I put a little bit of lash glue on my wrist. And I'm going to see if I can glue it back on. Oh my god, it looks crazy. <laughs> it's like so loose looking. I was also thinking like, do I have to wear like a shirt and pants? In the buffet, like I have this little cover up top. Let me just put it on. Let me just put it on because I don't know if they're going to say something or what. All right, perfect. Just simple, whatever. They won't have to say anything to me about the bathing suit. So now it's time to go. Let's go eat. So this is what the resort is looking like in the morning. The beach is over there, obviously. Not too busy right now, which is good. But there's definitely some people out. I just got like a few different pastries and this little egg thing. Why does this one literally have a hot dog? <laughs> it's like a sausage inside of the damn thing. Hi, good morning. Can I get you some coffee? Um, water, please. Thank you. So I just came out like we'll take some pictures. Guys, so I'm literally, I'm literally sitting by the pool taking pictures, right? And there's like this family sitting in front of me, but they keep like pointing at me and laughing and I just find it so funny. But I just find it so funny because it's like, I really don't care anymore. Like I'm just trying to get a cute picture, that's it. And like I have my big old tripod out and I'm using like the Lens Buddy app, just trying to get pictures and they thought it was so funny and entertaining. So I just got a little pina colada smoothie. So I'm just gonna sit by the pool and drink this and then head down to the beach afterwards. I left my stuff at the beach chair because I mean everybody else was leaving their bags and stuff so I don't think anybody is gonna take stuff but I, I took my beach bag, don't play with me. I'm taking my wallet and stuff everywhere. I think I was really scared to go on this trip but I'm so glad that I just faced my fears and did it anyways. So this is your sign, even if you're scared, just do it scared. Cause that feeling is never gonna go away. You just gotta do it. Look at how blue this water is. So pretty. I think I'm gonna get in now because I'm a little hot. So basically, I've just been sitting on the beach all morning. Now I'm getting some lunch. So I just ended up getting like um, some kind of like chicken stew and rice. I got some potatoes and then I got just penne pasta with sauce. Just to have something simple because um, my dinner reservation is until 5 30. So. Alright, I'm gonna get in the shower and I think I'm just gonna give myself time to just relax and breathe. Before I go out to dinner, but yeah, this bathing suit was really cute and comfy. I don't know if I showed you guys a bathing suit without like the cover up on. Yeah, so this is what it looks like without the cover up. Don't mind the body. Okay, so tonight I'm going to that restaurant called Comey's. I need outfit for tonight. Tomorrow I'm doing an island tour all day long. And then I have dinner at the hotel restaurant, the seafood restaurant. Thursday I have a catamaran cruise for the day. And then I have dinner at ceviche at 6 o'clock. Friday is exploration day, so I'm just going to walk around the city. I have lunch at a restaurant called Del Toro at 12. And then dinner, my final dinner. Every time I'm on a like, vacation, every time I'm on a vacation, I always have like a fancy final dinner on the last night. So on the last night, I'm going to the Bose Beach uh, Luxury Resort restaurant at 7 o'clock. All right, y'all, quick update. I've just been like kind of doing some work. Um, I was uploading my clips so far that I've gotten on the video. I've just been kind of organizing all my content stuff because I've been so focused on just trying to like 
relax and i've been in like survival mode like traveling so i'm like okay let me catch up on my content catch up on editing and all that stuff so i'm about to post a tiktok um now this is a little coffee tea area in my on my desk obviously every hotel room has like coffee and stuff but i decided to make this little lemon tea i don't know i'm just in a tea mood these are my little um stroop waffles um can we talk about these cups though these cups okay don't mind me look at these cups that they want you to put the coffee and tea in so i made the little tea i haven't had a good experience with tea and coffee from other places in the hotel yet i just used a little sugar where is it it was like this is obviously coffee but it was in like a little packet like that and i like that they have a tea kettle like when you like one that you warm up instead of like a regular coffee maker so let's try this tea real quick I put a whole packet of sugar in here and I like lemon tea, so. I, I, you know what? I do like honey, so I'm probably not gonna like this. I like a lot of honey in my tea. It does have a bitter flavor to it, I'll tell you that. It's so annoying that you can't order room service for free. Like that defeats the whole purpose of it being all inclusive. So that is a little annoying to me. Alrighty guys, so I'm all dressed, showered, clean, smelling good, feeling good, honestly. Like, I don't know. Like the first day and the first night, I was just feeling really anxious, stressed, just a little like, I don't know, solo traveling is hard, like as you can assume, like being out of the country by myself, it was just a really weird feeling, but I'm definitely getting a lot more comfortable being here and more comfortable just within myself, you know, just doing me, enjoying life and just being in the moment. So I had a good time just getting ready, singing, dancing, listening to music, I did my makeup, just something simple little eyeliner whatever so i'm just wearing my club monaco little white romper i like this little romper because it kind of looks like a dress almost but it's a romper you know but i really like how this fits and it's really comfortable i'm wearing this necklace i don't know if you can see me it's focusing on that damn sticker on the mirror perfect um, i'm wearing this necklace from tj maxx these earrings are from a brand called linear i did a little tiktok video for them I'm wearing my usual rings and then my new Tory Burch sandals. So that is the fit. Oh, and I'm carrying my new circle bag. I will say this bag is kind of hard to close and to fit stuff in. And for my scent tonight, I am wearing my Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So it is 4.40, it's almost five o'clock. Um, I wanted to head over there at five o'clock. I don't think it's gonna take 30 minutes to get there. Let me see, I'm pretty sure my appointment's at 5.30, my appointment. My reservation <laughs> is at 5.30. Oh, I forgot. I changed my seat on the way back, the flight, because I was supposed to be on seat 7A, like on the aisle, and then I changed my mind because like I like to sit in the corner because I don't even get up and use the bathroom, y'all, unless I really gotta go. Like I hate getting up on the plane. And I like to be in the corner so that I can just like turn and be in my own little bubble in my corner. But obviously it doesn't matter if I'm with people I know, but the fact that I'm gonna be sitting next to strangers, I wanna sit in the window seat now so the flight is almost full but i was able to switch it to the um window seat it's a few more rows back so instead of seven i'll be in 13 but i don't care i just want to be in the window seat i yeah but yeah i'm just chilling i'm feeling so much better yesterday like i said i was feeling like shit i was just feeling like so down and lonely and scared and just feeling weird but now i'm like I'm getting used to it and getting used to being alone, talking to myself, talking to a camera, you know? Um, it's really not that bad though. But being outside of the room is a little harder, you know? Like having to do activities by myself, experiencing things by myself, and especially eating by myself is really weird. Um, and I don't know, just the way that certain people on the resort interact with me is just very strange. Like like the the pointing the staring the laughing i'm like all right y'all doing a little much but yeah i'm not letting anything or anyone ruin my experience ruin this whole everything for me like this is such a life-changing experience and i'm not gonna let anybody tear me down ruin it and i'm just gonna keep enjoying myself all right so this is my first dinner spot sorry can you take anything else to drink this or? uh yes can i get the berry bliss i guess i'm here kind of early it's like so I went with a little mocktail. It has blueberry, lavender, and elderflower. Um, for the appetizer, I'm gonna do the calamari. Yeah. And then for my meal, could I actually just get the truffle mac and cheese and the mashed potatoes? Too much respect. All of my shorty BDs, they know not to try. Too much respect. I used to hand out CDs before they were buy. Wow. 
She loved me so much and seen like she vibes. I like my calamari very crunchy, so this is really good. I think this is some of the best calamari I've like, ever had. This mac and cheese is really good. I'm usually not a fan of like truffle things because sometimes it's just like overwhelming, but this is really good. I really wish there was a microwave in my room because I would definitely take this and tear it up later. So I packed up my leftovers because I figured out a way to heat it up and I'm going to do that. Um, so for dessert, I think I'll get in the olive oil cake, but like, I don't know if I want to pay $25 for olive oil cake and strawberries. Hi! Oh! I'm scared y'all. Oh! Look at this kitty! Oh! Oh. oh my god. Okay, I probably shouldn't. But I guess the prices on the... Um, oh my god, this poor kitten is just crying next to me. I would take you home, I swear I would. And yeah, the bill was in their currency, not in US dollars. So that's why it seemed like so much. So the bill was actually $59. And I was like, wait, what? I was so confused. I was like, oh my god, that's way less than I thought. It was... $99 in their currency so but um, I had them call a taxi for me so she said it should be in here at like 10 to 15 minutes so hopefully they're here soon I'm just standing outside waiting it's really really nice out and like but yeah I was so shocked about that I was like oh my god that was way less than I thought so maybe all the prices I've been looking at on these menus it's just less it's just more than I think because it's not in US dollars so but it's really nice out and that food was really really good like exceeded my expectations like a lot way exceeded my expectations yeah the truffle mac and cheese amazing everything was a 10 out of 10 the cake was really good like it wasn't my favorite but that's just because you know like my taste like it was good but i made sure i finished it because i thought it was 25 dollars but it actually wasn't guys i'm back in the room oh my god i'm just i'm feeling so good right now hold on let's talk to y'all everything about today was just a great experience y'all like Going into this trip, I just felt so anxious and so nervous and just so, just scared. But I'm like, you know what? I gotta do it scared. Like I saw this TikTok, this girl was talking about like solo travel. She was like, you're gonna be scared, just do it scared. And I just did it. And like, I'm having an amazing time. And like, as I was driving, um, as I was riding back from the restaurant, I like literally almost cried. I'm like, wow. Like I'm really having an amazing time. Like despite everything that my mind was telling me, I'm having a good time. Food was great at the restaurant. <laughs> like the food here at the hotel at the resort isn't bad. It's good enough for me to eat something, but not like enjoyable while I'm eating it, you know? The taxi rides though, I will say are expensive, but it seems like they didn't rip me off because the way there was $20 and the way back was $20. So I think the taxes are just expensive in general. So probably rent a car, but I'm not even old enough to rent a car here. And I also don't think I could even navigate my way around here because the way they be driving and the twists and turns of every road, it's, it's a lot. It's been a great day. Like, it's been a really good day. Everything, Y'all, first of all, they got me. They caught me. I took my bracelet off and, you know, I thought I could get away with it. I was carrying it around in my purse and then they flagged me down in the lobby. I was like, oh, it broke. They were like, oh, you got to get a new one. I'm like, oh, my goodness. So they got me, but I'm going to stretch this one out. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the blow dryer on it and stretch it out. So I could slip it on and off and not accidentally break it again. I brought home my leftovers from the restaurant because I had an idea. It's in a cardboard box, so like it would be fine. It's not in plastic. I'm going to use the blow dryer to warm it up. <laughs> I'm literally just going to blow hot air on the food until it's warm enough for me to eat. Because it was really good. It's not as expensive as I thought. So not like I wasted my money, but it's too good to waste. It is 7.08. It's not even that late, but I just want to put my pajamas on, be comfy do a little face mask, watch some TV, and just relax. But yeah, what I also wanted to talk about was how nice everybody is. Like, everybody's so nice, especially at the resort. Like, there's this, um, there's this lady at the towel hut, and she was like, hi, sweetie. Like, she was, like, really, really nice. Like, just everybody's so nice here, all the workers, everybody. And uh, when I was getting a taxi to the restaurant, um, the guy, when I went up to him, I was like, oh, you know, would you guys be able to call me a taxi to this restaurant, whatever? He's like, yeah, sure, he was super nice. But then he was like, he was like, oh, by the way, you smell amazing, like almost mesmerizing. Like you walked down here and I was like, what does that smell? I was like, thank 
you. Because I was putting on my Tom Ford perfume and I'm like, oh, you know, I smell good, but nobody's really gonna like, I literally thought this to myself. I'm like, nobody's really gonna like say anything or even smell me. And like that compliment just made my whole day. Like, I don't know his name, but he was super nice. Like that was so sweet. Y'all come to Curacao. I didn't know what to expect at all. It's great here. It's really nice. I would definitely come here, bring my family here because I want to come back. And I didn't, I didn't even leave yet and I want to come back. But it is just so amazing. And from what I saw, like the downtown city area with all the colorful buildings, it looks beautiful. Like I cannot wait to walk down there on Friday. Like I cannot wait to walk. I'm just ready to get out of the resort and explore. Like just getting out a little bit to go to that restaurant. It was just so good. Like I love exploring and seeing new places like it just brings me so much joy good morning guys so today we have a very early day it is 7 30 i'm actually running a little behind not really behind on my schedule but i wanted to get breakfast and then try to walk over to the renaissance hotel because that's where i'm meeting the irie bus tours um to take me on my island tour today so today is our first excursion i'm doing like an island tour so this bus is going to pick me up and it's going to bring a bunch of people around the island and just go sightseeing and show us all the different things that you know you gotta see when you go to Curacao. So I have my little beach towel. I wasn't gonna bring my tripod but I'm gonna bring it so I can try to take pictures of myself. My goggles because we're gonna go snorkeling hopefully. A water bottle, sunscreen, and then a bunch of other little stuff. So hopefully they clean my room today but I'm pretty sure I have everything. I have my camera, my extra batteries, my portable charger. Um, I don't think I really need anything else. I kind of just tidied up and put some things away so that it's easier for them to maneuver around and clean. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head out. I put a little snack in my bag just in case. Um, y'all, I was able to stretch the bracelet off with the blow dryer, so I'm gonna slip it back on. I was taking pictures, that's why I took it off. So I'm about to slip it back on for when I walk down to the lobby. And I'm gonna ask them if they think I'm being, like, it's safe to walk to the hotel. Like, I'm gonna ask them, like, what's the best way to go? And if not, then I'll just have to take a taxi, whatever. But it's literally not even half a mile. So I think I'll be able to walk. I almost forgot to show you guys what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this Zara orange one piece, Zara white shorts. Well, they're like cream colored. And then these little Steve Madden sandals because I didn't want to get my Hermes sandals messed up any more than they already are. And again, just the Target beach bag. So now let's go. All right, so I talked to the guy at the front desk. He said it's about a 10 minute walk. And it's perfect because there's a nice big sidewalk right next to the, like the main highway so it's perfectly safe and he should he said um i should see it after about 10 minutes and i walk pretty fast y'all so i should be all right it's pretty nice out it's nice and cloudy which i know usually isn't a good thing but here when the sun is out it just makes it so much hotter so it's cloudy right now which is really good and i'm feeling good so i stopped at the starbucks uh, at the renaissance hotel So I will definitely be coming down here on Friday, so I'm not going to show you guys too much now because I want to explore this area more on Friday, so right now I'm just trying to figure out where the bus will be picking me up. I have no idea because there's multiple different like pickup areas, so I'll have to just figure it out, I guess. Going to pick up six more people, but that's like half an hour further, but it's on the way going to the west. The highlight of the tour will be the swimming with turtles. Come in, live turtles. So we made it to the first stop, which is Shetehe Boca National Park. As you can tell, this wind is just absolutely destroying my hair, but I could care less, honestly. I'm just having a good time. Beauty, I can't pass it. I ain't never been to get no fast. I don't care how much you knew me in the past. I ain't no Julian style. This ain't no last dance. Way past. So 
This is the bus tour that I am riding. We don't have long time at this stop, so I'm just gonna use the bathroom before we leave. So we made it to the second stop. I forgot what this beach is called, but this is where they said the sea turtles are. Why am I have a time shape? I'm still playing the victim and you still playing the pick me. It's so embarrassing. All of the things I need living inside of me. I can see it. It's so embarrassing. Wow, I have never seen sea turtles that close to like the shore. I tried to get like the best videos I could with just my phone in the plastic case, so we'll see. But wow. Mama told me never sit where you lay at. I don't want righteousness. I hurt too much. I lost too much. I lost too much. I hit my crust and boom. Third day, pop out the tomb. Yeah, look at this wild pig. So cute. So I've just been swimming around, snorkeling a little bit. The water is so blue, so clear. I am just having the time of my life. But right now I'm gonna see if I can find a little something to eat. Uh, what kind of snacks do you have? Beans is a veget vegetarian. Okay. Come with a nice mango sauce, very nice. And here I have some nice lemon cakes. Very nice cakes. Um, you said the chicken burrito. Can I get one of those? Yeah. I just got this little chicken burrito. I don't usually eat lettuce, but I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry, I don't really care if there's lettuce in it. It's pretty good. I don't know why it reminds me. It reminds me of Taco Bell. Why am I out of time sheets? You still talk about babies, and I'm still taking a plan. So blue, oh my god, it's like the most beautiful beach I've been to was the beach in St. John, but I think this one almost compares to it. This one is so beautiful. I just got done taking some pictures over by the rocks, and now I have an hour to just swim around until the bus goes to the last stop. So I'm just gonna relax on the beach until then and swim around. Alrighty y'all, I am now done with the island tour. So it started around nine o'clock and it is now four o'clock. I just got dropped back off at the Renaissance Hotel and now I'm just gonna walk back to my hotel. It's really not that far. As you can see, I put my hair up because it was just all over the place. Like it was literally blowing in everybody's face behind me. So I felt bad. Um, but yeah, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that tour. I'll put it down in the link below and also put a screenshot right here um, of the link on TripAdvisor, but yeah. Yeah, the guys on the tour were super nice. Everybody else in the bus was really cool. All the stops were nice. The last one with the flamingos, like you can't really see them that well, but I mean, they're wild animals, so like they're just gonna do whatever they want. So I feel like they shouldn't even like show that part, but you can kind of see them. But that tour was really fun, definitely. My favorite was the sea turtles and the Casabo beach which we had the most time there. They gave us like an hour and a half, which is great. And I tried to record as much as I could, but, but you know, I wanted to just enjoy everything and really experience it and just be in the moment. Like as soon as I took my shots and took my pictures, I put the camera and the phone down and I had my goggles and I was literally snorkeling the whole time. Just, you know, swimming in the ocean and snorkeling. I was having a good old time by myself, y'all, honestly, but it's definitely something I would want to experience with like 
my family and my boyfriend like it was such a great experience like I want them to come down here and see what it's like so definitely gonna plan a family trip here with everybody because y'all they gotta see this place this island is just beautiful my the lesson that I've learned is that everything literally works out the way it's supposed to so I just need to not stress it and everything has been working out so I don't know why I stress it every single time but everything turns out just fine and it did and it was amazing and I had a great time but yeah that was just such a great experience highly highly recommend you do that tour if you come to Curacao no when you come to Curacao because you have to come here like I definitely picked the right place for my first solo trip but anyways once I get back to the resort I'm just gonna take a shower because my hair needs a good good wash so I'm gonna wash my hair put on my dinner outfit maybe take some pictures depending on what I'm wearing um, and we'll see and then I have dinner reservations at the resort at the um, seafood restaurant on the water so I'm excited about that because I won't have to pay for dinner because the next three days I think I'm going to um, reservations outside of the resort so I just want to save my money for that save my cash for the taxis I'm gonna have to take and yeah I'm sorry that the turtle videos on my phone are kind of bad quality and like a little blurry because I had my phone in the little plastic case but I tried my best okay I, that's one thing I really need to invest in for my next trip is a GoPro I really really want that because I love taking videos when I go snorkeling because if I'm going to an island y'all I'm going snorkeling so I definitely need to invest in a GoPro and another thing I need to invest in that I realized today is a good pair of water shoes that are not ugly as fuck <laughs> like I have water shoes but they're like so ugly but my aunt Stephanie has these um I forgot what the brand is called but they're, they're like strappy sandals but they're like water shoes but also like could be hiking I think they're just multi-purpose sandals and I want those because I feel like I could wear them as water shoes and they'd also be good walking shoes for excursions like that so I definitely want to invest in that too so I'm gonna ask her what kind of sandals those are side note something I talked about in my um, get to know me video was that a lot of people don't know what I am when they meet me and that was the funny thing because when I, um, the, the tour guy that was on the bus, he was like, oh, because at the stop, there's like a certain amount of people that I need to get on. He was like, oh, we have a uh, Gianelli, Brianna Gianelli. Oh, Italian. I'm like, yeah, that's my name. <laughs> and then later on, as we were dropping people off, he was like sitting behind me. He was like, oh, you're Italian, right, Gianelli? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, but you look Indian. You're Indian, right? I was like no but i get that a lot like everybody thinks i'm indian or i don't know they hear my last name and obviously i'm italian they think i'm indian or dominican and i'm like no i'm puerto rican and black whatever he's like really you don't have any indian family i'm like no <laughs> like that's the funny part about meeting new people is they never you can never guess really what i am Alrighty, guys so it is a few hours later it's almost eight o'clock now my dinner reservation at the seafood restaurant is at 8 15 so thank god it's right here on the resort and i could just walk there in a few minutes um just did my little everyday night makeup look i guess <laughs> just brows mascara eyeliner and lip gloss my eyeliner is fenty my lips are fenty don't play with it okay but yeah i just got ready so let me show you guys the outfit i am wearing this dress that i got from shein like i said i don't really shop from shein anymore but i'm gonna just wear what i got in my closet and i'm wearing these new sandals that i bought at tj maxx the other day jewelry is a lot of the same stuff i've been wearing the tj maxx necklace these earrings that my aunt got me and my usual rings and the purse that i'm carrying again is the little circle bag like i said i'm going right down to the freaking corner of the freaking resort so i'm not gonna need a whole lot of stuff in my bag if i need something i can walk back to the room and I'm just gonna be there, eat dinner, and then come back up and probably take some photos after dinner because I want my hair to be dry when I take pictures. Like, sometimes I just hate when my hair is wet and I take pictures. Like, I want it to be, like, dry and cute. The menu for the seafood restaurant, it's, like, very small, so I'm hoping that it actually is good. Um, but I'll let you guys know, and hopefully it's not too dark out there so I can actually show you guys what I'm eating. So, yeah, let's... Head on down to dinner. <laughs> Well, 
Well, that dinner looks... Oh, my whole bag just... I'm too tired for this. I'm too tired for this, y'all. And I still have to take my pictures and stuff. And I am just so tired. But what I was saying was that was one of the most disappointing dinners. Like, the food was just okay. The service was good. I'll give them that. I mean, the people are here are nice, like I said. Let me check under here. I dropped all my stuff. Oh. First of all, oh, I'm really tired. This is why I don't do late dinner reservations because if I'm out all day in the sun and doing activities, I will be tired by seven o'clock. Like, if I'm not out all day, then I'm okay with a late dinner reservation. But when I'm out in the sun, no ma'am, no ma'am. That dinner, that dinner was disappointing. First of all, I told them I just wanted one appetizer. I just wanted the freaking hummus and the shrimp tempura because everything else, I guess it came with everything that was on the menu. So let me read the menu to y'all. First with a starter is the Medellin. It's the Mediterranean fish soup, which it was giving too fishy. It was giving bikini bottom and I just was not feeling it, okay? It was giving bikini bottom, SpongeBob SquarePants. Um, yeah, I was not feeling that soup. And then for the like, appy, oh my God, I can't even speak. And then for like the appetizers, it was beetroot hummus, heydari, I don't know. There, it's a lot of like traditional cuisine that they serve. Heydari, baba ganoush, baba, and seafood antipasti salad. Which I was like, oh, I just want the hummus. Cause then it's like the second course is the shrimp tempura and it automatically comes with that. So I was like, okay, I just want the hummus. He was like, oh, you know, just that? I'm like, yeah, I don't want to get too full. He was like, no, 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 I'm just going to bring you everything. And I'm like, so he brings me everything. I try some things, don't like them. The only thing that I can say I enjoyed a little bit was the hummus. It was pretty good. But other than that, I did not really like anything. I had like the, um, the seafood salad or whatever. I just ate the shrimp out of it because I don't really eat anything else. But yeah, he comes back and he takes it. He's like, oh, you didn't like it. I was like, oh, no, no, I just don't want to get too full. Like... What did I tell you before? I said, I don't want all that. I can't eat six appetizers. How am I gonna eat six appetizers by myself and a meal and a dessert? So for the main course, you can either get red snapper, which comes with oven baked potato, asparagus, baby, baby carrots, and butternut squash sauce. Or you can get the grilled elastic salmon, sauteed vegetables with garlic butter. So I was like, oh, let me try the red snapper because you know, like my grandma likes red snapper. I'm just gonna get some red snapper. Not them using the same potatoes and carrots from the buffet. That's all I got to say about that one. And the butternut squash sauce was cold and the fish was too fishy for me. Like, I don't want my fish tasting fishy. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. I don't want the fish tasting fishy and it tasted fishy. Um, oh, what I also meant to say was I noticed that like people don't really tip. Like, in my opinion, like at the buffet, I'm not tipping. Like, usually they just bring a gl glass of water. But like, I'm not gonna tip when I went and got my own food and came back and sat down and picked my seat. But at the little a la carte restaurants where you make a reservation, you know, you still have to sit down yourself, but they bring you a drink, they bring you the food, they, you know, you order everything. So it's like, you know, they're giving you a service, so you tip them. But like, I know like in Europe, they don't tip. So them coming here, obviously, you know, it's not their culture, it's not their tradition. So they're most likely not gonna do it. But like, I don't see nobody tipping. I've, I've seen some Americans here, them talking about they're from Jersey and stuff. So you know better, you know better. You tip when you get a service. Unless the service is bad, unless somebody treats me a way I don't like or the service is bad, I'm gonna tip you because you did your job and I'm gonna tip you for your service. I don't know, I guess just growing up, that's been like the thing because you know the stereotype like, oh, black people don't tip. So I never wanted to be that black person that didn't tip, so I always tipped. And I try not to over tip, but I make sure you get 20%. And like I said, if the service ain't good, you ain't getting a tip, don't play with me. You're not getting a tip just because you did your job. You need to do your job and do it well. And then you're getting a tip. That's all I gotta say about that though. Let me go take these goddamn pictures, take this makeup off, and get my ass in the bed. Cause it's been a long day. It's been a good day, but it's been a long day. And once I get tired like this, it's not good for anybody. Good morning, guys. So it's officially day four. And today I am going on a catamaran cruise. Like for the day, we're going to this little island. Right now, I just have everything laid out. I have my beach bag and like everything I'm bringing. It's supposed to rain today. So I'm bringing my little um, cosmetic bag. And I'm going to put like my stuff that can't get wet in it just in case, just in case. 
And today I am going to bring my snorkel. Yesterday I only brought the goggles and then I regretted not bringing the snorkel because I can't stay under the water for too long. And I've also learned my lesson with my hair. I'm bringing some product to slick it back once it starts looking crazy because yesterday I was looking wild. But yeah, basically I have to meet over there at 8.30. It's at like some dock at like a restaurant, beach restaurant or whatever. So I'm going to, I have to be there at 8.30. So I'm probably going to catch a taxi around like 7.50, 8 o'clock. The latest because I want to be early to make sure I get a good seat on the boat and I also want to be early to make sure I can figure out where I gotta go. I think about stopping at breakfast but I'm really not that hungry but also it's supposed to be like an hour and a half boat ride to the island so but today the excursion does include lunch so I won't have to worry about that for today so I should be good not sure yet but let me show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the blue bathing suit that I got at um, Saks Off Fifth I'm wearing these shorts. I don't remember where they're from. And my Hermes sandals. So yeah, I'm gonna get my bag together and then head downstairs, see if I have enough time to grab a little something at breakfast. And we're gonna head over there. two hours it was more than an hour and a half but um once we got here i just waited on the boat and they brought us over in the dinghy because i really didn't want to swim like if i really had to i could have swam from the boat to the beach but i just didn't feel like it and i wanted to be with my bag and stuff so I had to wait for them to bring us over to the beach but the ride really wasn't bad so but it's like really really nice here so I think I'm gonna take some pictures really quick. Yeah, so right now I'm just exploring the beach a little. It is like 11.30. I think we have till three o'clock when we have to leave. Um, I just took some cute little pictures on that swing over there. And now I'm just exploring. But yeah, this beach is absolutely beautiful. Just straight white sands and crystal clear blue waters. It was nice and cloudy before, but now the sun is coming out, so it's getting a little hot. I'm probably just going to get my snorkel and swim around for a little bit and just enjoy everything. Like, it's just so nice. And yes, my hair is all over the place, I know. But I will say, there's these little spiky things that I keep stepping on and it really hurts. I think they're coming from the trees, but... My bathing suit matches like, the scenery very well. But yeah, that is the catamaran that I'm on, Bluefin Charters. It's looking like it's gonna rain a little bit, but I'm not worried about it. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy this and swim around now that I've got my pictures and stuff. There is like um, a lighthouse and stuff you can go to, but I don't know if I can walk that far because like yesterday my thighs were like rubbing together so much when I um, was walking back from the other excursion and they just hurt so bad so I don't know if I can walk too far but I might walk around and explore after I go snorkeling for a little bit. This is like the little map of Klein Curacao. That's what it's called, sorry y'all. It's called Klein Curacao. Um, this is like the little map and I think there's like two private um, companies here who have their own like beach chairs and stuff but yeah I'm probably just gonna put my stuff down get my goggles and swim around before lunchtime because oh my god there's a lizard <laughs> there was another blue lizard over by my stuff oh my god look how cute maybe if I explore I'll see more little things look at him but yeah it is just so beautiful out here like definitely worth the two hour boat ride but I'm also getting a little hungry so hopefully the food is good I saw them they were barbecuing some stuff um I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to bring my camera back on the boat I don't even know how I'm gonna get back on the boat for lunch but we'll see 
but I think they have like barbecue ribs and chicken and stuff and then like salad so we'll see what there is for lunch but for right now I'm just gonna enjoy everything look at this lizard over here my stuff <laughs> I've seen a bunch of these little things everywhere. This is the little area I set up over here under this umbrella thing. I've just been snorkeling. I saw this cute little puffer fish that was following it around for a while, but it's just so beautiful. Like I saw so many cool things under the water. I wish I had a GoPro so I could take videos under the water, but I don't. Um, I think it's almost lunchtime. So I'm debating if I want to try to swim back to the boat, but I don't know if I can. Like, the water is really deep and the current is pretty strong, so I don't know if I want to try to swim back. I put my phone in the little thing to try, but I don't know if I'm going to make it. Do you see that little hermit crab? What? Oh my god. <laughs> so cute. Alright, so the boat just called for lunchtime. Thank God I asked the lady. She told me that the dinghy comes back and gets us. Oh, it's on its way. So, thank God I don't have to try to swim and drown to go get lunch. So, it is now after lunch. It is 1.22. At 2.45, we have to put all our bags um, on the beach so they can bring them back to the boat. So, we have about an hour left here. But I'm just walking along the beach a little bit, exploring, sightseeing. But the lunch was really, really good. Probably the most authentic food I've had so far. They had um, like steak, chicken wings, chicken legs, whatever. Um, they had some ribs, like they had a pesto pasta salad and then some other things. And yeah, I'm out of breath. I'm sorry. I'm really out of breath. One of the things that I saw in the review, a lot of people talk about was the peanut sauce, so I put some of that on my steak. They had that and it was really, really good. So if you don't mind eating whatever somebody cooks for you, then I would definitely recommend this tour because the food was really good. They had a decent amount of options. And I also saw that for certain people with certain diet restrictions, they did have like fish and stuff. So quite a few options. I'm just really glad that they had the option of the dinghy like back and forth because I'm like, oh, how am I going to get back to lunch and all that? So that was a good thing. But they do make you leave all your stuff on the beach. You're not allowed to bring your bag back and forth, but I just had like my camera in this little bag and they didn't really mind. Alrighty, I packed up my stuff and I put my shorts on and now we're walking. It's so quiet out here. Like there's like nobody, but I saw some people walking in this direction. So I should be good. But since I spent like the first hour just swimming and stuff and then I had lunch, I think I'm just gonna explore and walk around more now that I'm fully dry because like I don't want to get soaking wet again and then have to sit on the boat soaking wet. So now that I'm fully dry, I'm just gonna explore and let's see what I can find. The lighthouse doesn't look like it's that far. Let me show you. Right over there. So I should be able to walk over there make it back in time i have like a whole hour more than an hour so i should be good to go check it out and come back i booked it on tripadvisor the same website i booked my island tour yesterday um i put all the information right here a little screenshot with the price and everything so yeah it includes food it, the only thing it doesn't include is transportation so i had to get a taxi god there's succulents y'all i'm sorry i'm all over the place Oh my god, I literally had the succulent at home. Oh my god. If you know me, I love plants. I don't think I've said it before, but I love plants. Stephanie, if you're watching this video, yup. Here's some succulents for you. Lots of succulents. Oh my god. That is crazy. Like, I love seeing the native land, the native environment where all the plants that I find at Home Depot come from. So that's crazy. I'm sorry I'm all over the place, y'all. If there's any information you're looking for specifically, I will link everything. Everything I do, everything you see, I will have it linked down below. So sorry that I'm all over the place. If you're looking for specific information, click those links down below. Wow, guys, look at this.
Next, we're gonna head to that thing over there because I don't want to use up too much time at each thing because, y'all, I ain't trying to get left behind. Wow, look at the waves over here. This is crazy. I wonder when this got here. Cause it don't, it doesn't look old at all, it's like the other one. One last thing, if you guys are gonna come here, I highly, highly recommend bringing your own snacks, bring your own water bottles. Today I didn't have them, but I could definitely use it right now. Like I am thirsty, so as soon as I get back in the boat, I'm getting just a cup of water or something. Alrighty, guys, so I made it back. Oh my god, my phone. Ever since I got on the boat and like lost the signal. Like my phone will not work anymore. It will not pick up a signal. It's so frustrating, but it still works with Wi-Fi, so that's okay. So it is 5.45 now. I had a dinner reservation at a restaurant called Ceviche at 6. Obviously, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> There's no way. I think I'm just going to eat my leftovers from the other restaurant. I'm going to figure out a way to heat them up. So it was after I explored the rest of the island and looked at the little sightseeing areas and stuff. I snorkeled for a little bit and then I actually decided to swim back to the boat. I know I said I wasn't going to because I'm not a good swimmer. But yeah, I was like, you know what? Let me face my fears and just do it. I'm gonna just do it. Because I wanted to get on the boat and get a good seat. Because I like on the on the side of the I was sitting on the side of the boat to start and like I was like breaking my back because I couldn't sit back. So I wanted to sit where one of the tables was so I could just like, you know, take a nap on the way back. So I'm like, you know what? If I wait, I'm gonna get a bad seat again. But if I just face my fears and get my ass on that boat. I'm gonna get whatever seat I want. So I said, you know what? Okay, let me get my goggles. Let me get my goggles. So I got my goggles. I packed up my bag, put everything in there, put my shoes in there, made sure everything was good, sealed in tight. And I put my bag with the rest of them for when they picked them up at 2.45. It was 2.30. I said, all right, let me get up in that water. I got in that water. I started swimming. I had my goggles on, y'all. I was swimming for my life. Like, oh my God. I don't know why. I was so out of energy. But I made it on that boat. Yeah, I made it on that boat. And I got the seat that I wanted, period. Woo, ooh, woo. Y'all, I think I'm a little sunburned. Cause this arm on the way back was sitting in the sun. I think I'm sunburned, wait. Just a tad, just a tad bit burnt. And my nose. I highly, highly recommend that you choose blue fin, blue fin charter. I'm so tired. That you choose blue fin charters to do your day trip to Klein Curacao. Everybody in the boat was super nice, super helpful. I was there by myself. I made sure they checked on me, even though they were like, "Oh, are you good swimmer?" Because nobody's gonna be watching you, whatever. They were watching. They were paying attention, making sure I was okay. They asked me if I needed anything. While I was in the boat, they asked me and they talked to me and stuff. They were nice. No, because you know you're sunburnt when you take a shower after being out all day and your skin is tingling. Like my skin is literally like stinging. Girl, I should have reapplied that sunscreen. This is your sign. Reapply that sunscreen. Put it on first of all to begin with and reapply it throughout the day. Or else you're going to be red and burning like me. But that's besides the point. I'm in the bathroom because I'm about to heat up my food with this goddamn blow dryer, y'all. Because I was going to use, like, here was my theory, right? I was going to boil the hot water in the kettle, uh-huh. And then I was going to put the food in the glass cups, right? And then fill the sink up with the hot water and then put the cups in there. But you can't, like, stop the water from, like, draining. Tell me what you want, say what you want, but this damn blow dried food tastes better than the buffet. And I'm gonna eat it with a coffee stir. Mm hmm. Yep. This, this is ghetto. <gasps> no, this is resourceful, okay? I'm hungry. Good morning, guys. So, today is my last full day in Curacao. I'm so sad, but, but I've had a really good time. It's been just amazing, like, absolutely amazing experience like i'm so glad i did this and just feeling good just feeling good that's it obviously i didn't need any blush today because my face is literally red my skin hurts but it is what it is so as you can see i have my hair kind of like slicked back today it'll look a little better once it's dry and i'm just wearing these hoop earrings and this necklace and my rings and then um 
for today's outfit let me show you and then today's outfit i'm wearing this new dress that i bought this is what it looks like on i know i called it like an old lady dress but i put on like this little belt i just thought this was really cute because i'm gonna try to take a picture next to like all the colorful buildings i think it's really cute and i'm gonna wear i was gonna wear these sandals but they're like really dirty and to walk around like these are my favorite sandals to walk around in like i could walk around for hours in these sandals like all day i walked around new york city all freaking day in these sandals and my feet were good so i will be wearing those i don't care if they don't match fully with the fit they're comfortable so but yeah this is just um a calvin klein dress that i got from where did i get it from tj Maxx. yeah tj maxx i got this from tj maxx so I put on this little belt. I can't decide if I like the belt or not. I kind of like it without the belt. I feel like, I don't know, something about that belt, the color just isn't right. But I might just wear it like this and then tie this a little tighter. So right now it is 7.46, it's almost eight o'clock. I wanna hurry up and get my little videos of my outfit and hit the town. Cause I wanna walk around like the, um, what is the town called? I know in Aruba it's Oranjestad. I think here it's Willemstad. So I want to go ahead and walk around the city today, just explore some more down there, um, go see the Queen. I think it's Queen Emma Bridge. I'm pretty sure it's that. And just, you know, explore that little area, walk across the bridge. Like I said, take some pictures. I want to get out there while it's still a little early, while there's not a lot of people walking around. This is another bag from Target, just, you know, this little net bag. I didn't want to bring like the huge one today. So this is the little directory. For the rift board. So apparently there's like four levels to this place. And there's a bunch of different restaurants, shops and stuff. Well here's like the little I love curacao. Nothing's open yet, but I will definitely come back over here when it is open in like 45 minutes. It's definitely probably a lot busier when the cruise ships come. There's actually no cruise ships today, which I'm surprised about because it's like a Friday. And there's the colorful buildings that you see all the time online, of course. First of all, nobody told me that this bridge creaks and sways. Like, it's literally moving as we're all walking on it. And it's a little unsettling. I love how they have all these cute, well, they're not little, but cute, huge signs. It's so funny because this is what those guys on the catamaran boat were calling me yesterday. Like they weren't even calling me my name. They just kept calling me douchey. <laughs> Look at this beautiful mirror. I was going to take a picture over here, but I don't know. I feel like it would be too much. But this is really, really nice. Oh, look at this. Somebody made this little sculpture out of coral. It's like coral people. What is that? Um... So after walking almost a mile, I finally made it to the Scuba Lodge Boutique Hotels. This was the pink building I was trying to take a picture in front of. lunch reservation at 12 um, at a restaurant called Del Toro and I actually just realized it's on the other side of the bridge and I just came back to the Renaissance side but I have like 30 minutes to walk around over here and before I have to go back over there so I had a reservation for this restaurant but clearly I didn't actually need it but look at how beautiful this is see literally right in front of the water
actually walking back now. I have all these souvenirs. Oh my god. Thank god I brought my bagu bag. I got this a while ago because I thought it was cute, but y'all, it's actually functional. It's holding all my stuff, all my souvenirs. Thank god for y'all bagu, please. Because I really, really needed that. My back hurts so bad. Like, I need a massage. I don't know why my back hurts so bad, but it does. But I'm walking back to my hotel now. I've been just shopping, getting souvenirs for my family and stuff. But I am tired now. It is, I don't, did I say the time? It's almost 2.30. Still pretty early in the day, but I am just so exhausted. So I made it back to the room and I got changed for now. What time is it? It's 3 o'clock now, but I finally made it back. Oh my goodness. If I didn't have this bag, I don't think I would have made it. I wouldn't have made it. So I had to go to Starbucks and get some cups so i got just like the um you know like the been there series like the mugs you get where it has like oh where you went and has like all the pictures and stuff so i got three of those for people one for myself of course i got two other cups which i'll show you and then i got a bunch of other little souvenirs so let me just show you guys look at this oh my god so i got this i don't know if you can see i got this super cute pink mug like travel mug and it has this little i don't know if it'll focus has this cute pink flower keychain i mean this just screams me like it's very me and this cup it was scratched but it's the only one they had left and i needed i just needed it so it's this pink cold cup with the flowers basically very similar to the other one and let me i didn't i actually didn't get to look at it because it was behind the um counter but this is their been their series mug i have one so far from jamaica aruba didn't have any when i went so it's the theme is like pink and green it says curacao and it has all the little you know symbols of curacao this is so freaking cute i don't know if it's focusing but you get the idea so i got this little curacao ones it has like the buildings and emma what <laughs> the buildings and the queen emma bridge uh, oh my god thank god i kept walking and exploring y'all i found the chi chi doll store oh my god and they put it in the cutest freaking box it's giving mini happy meal i got this little chi chi doll i was searching high and low y'all i spent like 50 minutes in there looking at each and every single one of them i was only going to get a small one so i looked at all the small ones because the bigger ones were very expensive but I was looking at all the small ones, thinking like, okay, what's the best one, the best color, the best design? I almost got a pink one just because it was pink, but I'm like, you know what? I don't need to get a pink one just because it's pink. Like, I didn't really, like, you know, I wasn't really drawn to the design. But as soon as I saw this one, I was like, yeah. So this is a little Chi Chi doll. She has a yellow dress with all these little flowers and a butterfly and a sun. Let me show you. I just thought this one was so perfect. I absolutely love this one. Y'all, so I'm editing my video right now, right? I'm sitting here editing my video. First of all, I think somebody fixed my AC because all of a sudden it is so much colder in here. Like, thanks for fixing it, but I literally leave tomorrow. You're a little late. Anyway, so I remembered, I'm like, oh, the little pastry shop bar is open 24 hours. I'm like, let me go get a little snack. Since dinner's not until seven, I'm gonna be sitting here until then. So I went down, I got these little pastries again, and I got a little mocktail. I threw on this dress because I had literally had pajamas on, so I just threw on this little dress. I went down there, the guy that's serving me, he's like, he gives me my drink, he's like, oh, where are you from? I'm like, the States. He's like, oh, I'm from New York. I'm like, oh, me too. Like, all right, where's this going? Give me, give me my freaking food so I can go. Like, I got work to do. He's like... He's like, oh, how long you been here for? I was like, oh, I've been here like five days or so, whatever. He's like, you've been here five days and I haven't seen you? And I'm like, yeah, I wasn't on the resort. I've been doing excursions and stuff or whatever. And then he's like, naming all these places. Like, oh, have you been here? Have you been here? I'm like, no. He's like, what? You haven't been there yet? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and then he's like, he's like, oh, let me take you to this. Um, I think it's like a beach club. He's like, let me take you to this club tonight. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, boy, what do I look like going to a damn club? He's like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I have, I have dinner plans tonight. Like I literally have plans and a, 
now and now it's gonna be so weird if i go down there he was like oh he was like oh well you know after dinner or whatever you know i can take you down to the beach club or whatever like after dinner after you do whatever at 11 you can message me and let me know and i'm like 11 if boy if only he knew this girl right here don't stay all that late i do not stay all that late i need to be in the bed by 10 30 and it takes me about an hour to get ready for bed so i need to be back in the room by nine who do i look like going to a club at 11 o'clock first of all i just ordered a mocktail you think i want to go to the club it was just so funny and then it's like i feel bad because like i hate like i don't know i'm like a people pleaser honestly so like i just felt bad he's like oh he's like oh take my instagram and you know text me and let me know and i'm like all right what's your instagram so i search it up i didn't even follow him yet because i don't want him seeing my page like i don't want him seeing my stuff but yeah i didn't even follow him because uh, <laughs> i was like yeah i'll let you know later boy when you see me on my way to dinner don't say nothing i'm going to dinner i'm gonna eat my dinner and i'm gonna take my ass to bed like i would but one I'm in a relationship and I have a boyfriend. So yeah, unless it was a group of girls inviting me, then I would consider it. But like, like I said, one, I'm in a relationship. Two, I don't stay out that late. Three, I don't do clubs. Four, I don't drink. Five, I'm tired. By the way, quick side note, I've been posting all types of pictures on my Instagram. So once you watch this video, make sure you go check out those pictures, like, comment if you haven't seen them yet. I took a lot of cute pictures, y'all, and you know, it took me a lot to try to get these photos on my tripod. So go show me some love on Instagram, follow me, everything, if you haven't yet. So for tonight's dinner outfit, I am wearing this Aritzia top, this little Zara skirt, and my Dior sandals because the outfit's like black vibes, so I had to wear black shoes. For the bag, I'm wearing this little black YSL Lulu bag. So oh, let me hurry up and get downstairs and call a taxi and let's head to dinner. Fingers crossed that it is great because but I'm prices. I think it's like, he said like pumpkin and something else, but I think it's like a raw fish inside of like seaweed cone. Very interesting flavor. I don't know how I felt about it, but at least I tried it. So this is the second little bite that he brought me. I have no idea what that is. I think he said some type of fish salad. I have no idea. It's definitely a raw fish though, which I've never had before. Do you just do one bite? I don't know. All right, let's see.
so I guess she noticed that I didn't really like the first appetizer, so she brought me the smoked salmon, and then there's a salad on the side with king crab. Okay, the smoked salmon is actually good, but I can actually eat this. <laughs> Let's try the king crab salad. And he also shaved like a slime on it. Very, very strong flavors that, like I've never had before. No, that tastes really good. I love artichoke. That was really good. The thing is, it's good, but like it doesn't really wow me, you know? Like that truffle mac and cheese I had the other day, that wowed me. The calamari I had, now that wowed me about how how good it was. Or maybe I just set my expectations so high that I just like, I don't know. But it doesn't really wow me, but it's good. It's more of like the experience, like the experience is definitely amazing. Now the experience wowed me. This is actually our natural villa. Oh wow. Uh, there are the owners are staying there right now. 14 nights. Today we have the Italian night. Oh. Um, Tuesday we have the French night. Wednesday the Indian night. Mm -hmm. And on Saturday we have on um, the barbecue. And oh wow. Okay. Okay. It's oh. a small one, it's not so big. Yeah. Fat. Wow, this is really bar. Kitchen. <laughs> this is really cool. Thank you for showing me around. <laughs> so how many villas are there here? We have actually 23 in Kronkjai. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. this uh, room here we have the master suite on the side. There's a master villa. That side we have um, villas, five villas that are um, sharing the pool. Okay. And in the beginning, when you end the, when the entry, we have like eight villas more and also rooms on the honeymoon suites. Okay. My server is so sweet. Like, I'm waiting on my taxi and it's gonna take a while, so she was taking me on a little tour around the resort. And she was like, Yeah, you can walk over there to the little island if you want. And I'm like, Oh my god. Like, she was so nice. I will put her name on the screen. I can't remember her name because I'm really bad with names, but her name is on the receipt and I will put it on the screen. If you come here, request her. She's amazing, she's super sweet, and she was very helpful. And wow, this resort is absolutely beautiful. Like, this is the epitome of luxury. Oh my god. I think these over here are like the, some of the private villas that share a pool. This, wow. Good morning guys. So today is Saturday, which means it's time to head home. I'm sad to be leaving this beautiful island. Like I've had such a great experience. Like it is so beautiful here. I will definitely be coming back eventually, but with family this time. Family next time for sure. I love going on vacation, but it's something about my routine at home and doing those, you know, same things every week that like just brings me a little bit of joy, like, you know, hanging out with my mom on the weekend, going to Trader Joe's, going grocery shopping, just little stuff. Just, it's just, it's just part of my life and it just brings me joy. So it's like, I have such a great time on vacation, but I can't wait to get back to my little life back home in New York. So yeah, um, I have all my stuff packed up back there. Fingers crossed that the checked luggage isn't too heavy. I don't think it is because I jam-packed the carry-on, y'all. I jam-packed it. And I'm just getting my um, little personal bag ready. Y'all know the infamous large Telfar that you see in all my TikToks. Yes, I'm able to fit it under the seat. Yes, it is heavy, but it works and it's my travel bag. It's so crazy how fast this week went by, like, it was like one minute I was getting on the plane and next thing you know, I'm going home already. Like I was just here arriving, standing in the lobby, checking in and I'm going home. But I had a great time, a great experience. I'm so glad I got to experience this. I'm so glad I did this and just face my fears because it was a really eye-opening experience and I really 
learned a lot about myself and I feel like I grew a little bit more as a person. So yeah, overall, great experience. Last night when I got back from dinner was not a great experience though. Like I had a really hard time sleeping and um, it was just weird vibes. And in the middle of the night, the freaking lamp shades fell off. Like, okay, it's supposed to look like this, right? With the little lamp shade but they just started randomly falling off like this one i couldn't get back on so i'm just gonna like leave it there and they better not say nothing because it literally just fell off when i was laying in the bed that one fell off too but i was able to put it back on but y'all when i tell you i was already feeling uncomfortable laying in the bed just feeling weird like just weird vibes and like, i could barely sleep and the next thing you know the damn lampshades are falling off and i'm like oh hell no so like the first one fell off i got up and i like investigated and then I was like, oh, maybe something's just wrong with it. Went back to bed. Around 4 o'clock, another one fell down. I was like, no, I'm done. I'm done. I was so uncomfortable. I turned the light on over here by the bed. And I just laid there and went on my phone. And I, I've been up since like 5 o'clock this morning because I was just so uncomfortable. But we're going home to my comfy bed, to my cat, to my family. And I am ready. I am so ready to go home. Not ready for the cold, but... Ready to just go home and get back to my routine. And yeah, so I guess that is the end of this vlog, unfortunately. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed my first ever travel vlog. I definitely enjoyed um, making this video. And just the overall experience for me was just amazing. Um, you guys can definitely look forward to more travel vlogs this year. I already have two more trips booked one in may and one in september for my birthday but we'll get to that eventually not right now though so yeah if you like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe comment down below what your favorite part of the video was and if you would ever visit curacao and if you did visit curacao what would you want to see first like would you want to go to the beaches the town shopping let me know what your favorite part was you know just give me some feedback okay but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was nice being in Curacao, but I'm ready to go back to New York. So I will see you guys back there. Thank you so much for watching. Wish me a safe flight back home, and I will see you guys later. Bye.